Hello. Welcome to the vlog. All right, always trying new angles. Um, I hope everyone is safe and doing well. Uh, one of the concepts that I was thinking about was the evolution of the martial arts at, a, at an individual level, the individual journey, and the danger of extrapolating that to the actual reality of the martial arts, all right? So that doesn't mean anything unless I explain it. So when you are in a system, you follow certain people that are amazing in the system, your teacher, but also certain celebrities of the system. Almost every system has this, right? So, you know, if you belong to a particular lineage, nothing wrong with that because you have to learn somewhere. Uh, there's certain people you like a lot, right? And then maybe you like people from other systems because you follow the martial arts like I do in general and there's people that I have tremendous, you know, there are people that I have tremendous respect and admiration for. And so one of the things you do is study their uh, biography and normally that focuses on the journey they did. And the very, very um, high percentage of, of those teachers would have had an evolution in the martial arts. There are a few that would say, no, this is the system I started, this is the I'm doing you know, later. But almost never, that doesn't happen often. There's always some previous martial art that created an important foundation, right? So, um, you know. There's so many examples of that. But I hesitate to mention a few because there's going to be a little polarizing. You know, let's just say you have a teacher that is in incredible in Tai Chi and he's been doing Tai Chi for 40 years. But when you study or when you read his book, or there's an interview, you can see that it started, started with Jiu Jitsu or Karate or Judo or another form of Kung Fu. Um, you know, Bruce Lee studied Tai Chi with his dad. Philip Bayer studied Taekwondo, and he was extremely good at it. Uh, Alex Richter was, was a Taekwondo uh, practitioner, and then he even went through non-classical Kung Fu um, before Wing Chun, right? Uh, Yue Shiva was obviously Jiu Jitsu and um, Daito Ryu. Etc. right? There's always an evolution. And you have yours. So my evolution, very, very strong foundation in Kempo, tremendous uh, respect, um, very influenced by Aikido, but I did train Krav Maga for very intensely. Like, it would, it would be surprisingly intense for people who are used to school. Uh, then, of course, I went through another lineage of, of Wing Chun, that was really, really influential. And then I am training with George, as you know, these days, in what I call George Leach One, because I don't like the labels, right? But it is really one shall know, right? So it doesn't really matter what it is. The important thing is we all have our evolution. The problem I've noticed through picking on subtle cues and also watching my own mind is that there tends to be, not always, there tends to be an extrapolation that as you evolve, you've realized there was something better. And a lot of you may say, no, 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 I don't do that. But, but maybe you don't, but it's a subtle thing and it's not that easy to catch. You have to be very honest, right? So if you are, one of those Philip Bayer big fans, and I am, absolutely. There seems, be honest, don't you believe like oh, he was so good at Taekwondo and then he discovered something better because he met Wan Shun Leung, Wan Shun Leung, you know, basically dominated him. Wan Shun Leung himself was a boxer, went to the school of Yip Man, didn't really see a reason to switch until he faced Yip Man. But none of this is true, meaning you can't really extrapolate the individual. Because I am sure, and I my fault, but I am sure 
there's many stories in reverse, right? Stories of people that started in Wing Chun and ended up doing boxing, so it's the reverse of Wen Xiong Leung, and they found their home in boxing, right? Boxing is a ancient martial art, and it deserves the same respect, right? On the other hand, we don't have to worship it. Like other people now, it's like worship it. It's just another martial art with its principles. Very, very ancient and fascinating to study. Um, and probably people that did some form of Tai Chi, Kung Fu, Wing Chun, and ended up in Taekwondo, and they feel at home, you know? Um, so I believe those personal journeys are more about your individual context and your own development. It has nothing to say about any art being better than others, than any other. It could be that one says, well, it proved that it's better for me. And even that I find hard to believe because better is just so contextual, right? And it depends on when and for what. But yes, I guess in a relative sense, you could say that it was better for you because the way it clicked with you made you feel at home. And this is what happened with me. I felt at home. But I actually have nothing to say about here's why it's better, you know? And newsflash. Let's just talk. Some of you love the practical aspect, especially if you're into sports fighting. In the end, can you win a fight or not, right? And even the Grandmaster movie by Won Kar Wai, which I love that director, it starts that way, right? Everybody in the martial arts field very validated when, when, when the movie starts saying Kung Fu two words, horizontal and vertical, if you end up horizontal, you lost. So that's all that matters, right? Or we have the saying of white cat, black cat, which is the best cat, the cat that catches the mouse. Incidentally, I have a white cat, cat and a black cat, and um, I adore both. So there seems to be in the martial arts this aspect of, well, in the end, it's the martial art that can dominate, right? But the problem is that's also very contextual. And look, um, when I was younger in Madrid and I was doing Kempo, I, I was pretty young, right? I was a teenager. But man, seriously, man, if I was to face off the the guy who was my, my teacher then, Jesus Ortega, and I can't find him online. I'm desperately looking for him to interview him and to talk to him. Uh, and my friend, uh, my childhood friend Juan, uh, is looking for him too. But that guy was like a bulldozer, man. There is no doubt that he would take two seconds to put me on the floor. It doesn't matter. So this is not about I, what I've done is, is, is in any way better. It's just happier for me because my evolution took me to a place where things click in a way that they make me happy. Um, but that will continue evolving and you own your own journey. This is why if you tell me what you practice, I just say George Leach one. Seriously. I have no desire to label it because it's an evolution that... You know, I have been clicking more and more and more with systems, but even that clicking gets refined and there's certain things that appeal to me tremendously and others that don't. And in the end, it's the satisfaction you derive from this training that matters, right? Um, the other thing is historically, if you look at systems like judo have such a tremendously historical influence, but then if you're a a teenager in the age of karate, there is like an underlying belief, we found something better, right? None of that is true. This is all history. History does this, right? It's all waves. It's all waves. Through the waves, through the ups and downs, through the cycles, all the arts remain at a core, Ex specialize in something that may connect with you or not. So beware of following the wave because the wave will never stop, right? Just like in the, in the age of, you know, when Ed Parker was, was pushing in the United States this new thing, you know, Kempo Karate, Karate was becoming super popular. 
And there was this understanding that, oh my God, this is so much better than judo. Even if people did not express it, a lot of people felt that. That happened to karate, that happened to, it's gonna happen to everyone, taekwondo. It doesn't mean they're better or worse. It means like separate the social circumstances and how systems, because that's all commercial. Is there someone to promote them? Is there someone to say, is there someone that can prove it's good so that they establish schools? And then you think because of that, the art is, is, is in any way validated. And it has nothing to do with that. Separate the societal, this social aspect of it, which is more circumstantial related to the individuals that are pushing to do it in an external way or in a commercial way, which nothing wrong. And then you just have to find your own journey. And I have no doubt, you know, if you are more in the Kung Fu side, Chinese side, you may have a background in Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, for example, and then have evolved to the Kung Fu side. But I have no doubt there's people who have done exactly the opposite. Or there are people who have done exactly the reverse journey. So to me, these things are just like the facets of a diamond, right? They're all faces of the diamond. And that doesn't mean you have to be a master of all of them. Some people can do that. But I, I cannot stand it. I just would be, be so unhappy because I am not able to be good at many things. And the satisfaction that I derive from the practice is in the progress that I see. And to establish progress, I have to, I have to focus on one art. And that is, in my experience, the biggest source of satisfaction. Psychologists call that mastery, right? The, the pursuit of mastery in any endeavor is one of the things that make you happy in life it's separate than your work and everything is just when you start getting better better and better something and some people can do that with five arts i don't understand it i it's hard enough to do it with one and so you i dig deeper and deeper and it makes me just very happy um, but let's so this is a little too long i'm gonna i'm gonna finish but let's separate that individual journey with a subtle, even unconscious, or maybe you should say subconscious, um, pro projection of the fact that that is saying anything about the arts. The fact that you went through Taekwondo and then you ended up doing Tai Chi does not say anything about Taekwondo versus Tai Chi. It, it's more of a reflection of your personal evolution, things that click with you, because these arts have a personality. When I'm looking at the facet of the diamond, they would have a different tone, a different because of the light, they would have a different hue um, and so it's all about the individual journey stay safe